So we decided to head into Icon Siam. It's actually a pretty cool place to go. Um, you can walk, you can taxi, whatever, but you can also go to a pier and they have a free boat shuttle. So we took the boat, it was like a two minute boat ride up the river and you um, get to land, um, so you get to land this awesome, um, ex ridiculously luxurious mall. So you come in and you're surrounded by luxurious things and, um, and then you see this sign called the Sook and in the bloody, kind of an open this bloody container, wait a minute. In a way, I'm having trouble opening, there we go. So you get to the Sook and um, the whole Sook is about a night market feel. Uh, they have trinkets, they have stuff that you get in night markets, except it doesn't smell like freshly butchered meat and seafood and old food and heavy deep frying. So it's like a really clean area where you have reasonably priced food, but what you'll find a street, you know, street night market, but here in a mall. So it's pretty cool. So I got this thing where they put this rice, um, like a rice mix onto a steamer and they put like a meat mix in it and there's three different colors. I tried asking what the colors meant, but I just, I well, you no, know, it just didn't happen. Um, but it looks bloody good. And this is a uh, 55 butt, 55 butt. And uh, you get this little garlic. I'm gonna spread it onto the different ones now. There we go. And so as you can see, there's little chilies in there. I don't usually do that, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to eat a small chili and probably sweat like a maniac afterwards. It also comes with a bag of coriander and lettuce. So I'm going to take a bite of coriander and I'm going to take a bite of lettuce after the piece of dumpling. So I'm going to get rid of one chili. Mmm. Mmm. That's very delicious. It makes one your bites. <coughs> that chili is really hot. It hurts my mouth. Can you, uh, the next one you bite, can you show us the middle? Oh my god. <coughs> he was allergic to chili, but that's his own problem. I'm allergic to chili, but I love chili. It's really hot, but the lettuce and the coriander is really, really good with it. So I'm going to cut it open so I can show you what's inside. Oh, okay, that didn't work, but yeah. So it's like a minced pork? Is that what's inside? It's like a minced pork with nuts and a sweetness, shallots, onions. Um, I'm gonna delve another chili because if that's how you're supposed to eat it, who am I to judge? I'm gonna regret this, I'm already sweating in the face. Mmm. Mm mmm. I highly recommend this. Did the color taste different? No. I don't think it tasted different at all. Um, actually, maybe it's just because of color bias, but the green one tastes a bit like pandan. But I can't say for sure. Maybe because my mouth is numb from the chili. Would you order it again? I would definitely order it again. In fact, I would order it again and eat the whole thing for myself. It's actually really, really good. It's really delicious. It's got a crunch, a sweetness, a saltiness. The chili burns like hell, but the coriander and the lettuce kind of subdues a bit of that bite, but it's delicious, fantastic.
Hello. So I'm at the Sook in Icon Siam. This is going to be a very short video. Um, I just want to give you a quick blast. You will know very soon that I have a fetish for food in little parcels, okay? Little parcels, green parcels, brown parcels, I don't care, just parcels. When I saw this, it ticks the boxes for me. It ticks the parcel box, it ticks the rice box. And so, in good conscience, coconut, sweet, no, sweet box, yes. <laughs> Everyone loves a good sweet ricey box. So, the woman that was selling this was trying to tell me something. So it's actually, she's going, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but I will eat it. So, I'm gonna unwrap this. It looks like the sticky rice, and it's like a coconutty sweet thing. This was 40 baht. I tried to haggle her down, but she said, no, no, I'm kidding, I didn't do that. No, no, I don't do that, that's stupid. But so this is pandan. Yeah, so this is a pandan leaf. Then we're gonna take a bite. Mm. Oh shit, it definitely ticks the pandan box. Oh sorry, the sweet box, the rice box, all the boxes. The rice so is a... What is the topic? I'll tell you, the rice, the sticky rice, coconut rice, but it's got pandan and salt. There's a definite saltiness to the rice. So it's a sweet and salt pandan coconutty rice. And the top bit is a shredded coconut that tastes like it's been caramelized in or boiled and condensed in palm sugar. Sickly, sickly sweet. So you have this salty umami pandan rice, and then you have this sickly sweet coconut. That is amazing. I'm gonna try the other ones because I have no idea what the other ones are. This one looks like it's also a similar in spirit, but I don't know what the red thing is. So let's just try it. Oh wow, that is weird. It doesn't look like you like it. I don't know how I feel about that. Just because, same rice, but the top is a coconut. I can taste black pepper. I can taste, I don't know what I'm tasting, but a distinct savouriness. A distinct savouriness with sweetness and black pepper. So if anyone knows out there what that is, tell me, but that is, that is definitely unusual. And these two are the same, so I'm going to try it. Um, I don't know what this is, but I'm hoping it is not sea urchin. Yeah. <laughs> let's, try, let's see how it is. Okay, here goes. Oh, mm, that's my jam. Mm. That's a pudding. It's like a sweet coconut pudding. That thing there. It's a pudding. Absolutely glorious. Would you get it again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I would. I mean, that one there is not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's just that I don't like savory and sweetness too much of a mix. And the black pepper just kind of tips it over for me. But this here, fantastic. And this here is just excellent. So yes, I give it my thumbs up.